Hi guys, this is Ledger Forever, and this weekend is MCU weekend for me, so I will be ranking the Iron Man trilogy today. Starting off in worst, we have Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 is by far the weakest out of all of these ones. The villain's extremely forgettable, really boring. I, I do like that we get Black Widow in this. A lot of the phase ones we got, we got them um, in, uh, in Avenger because in Thor we got Hawkeye. In this, in Iron Man 2, we got Natasha Romanoff. Yeah, but this, this film is just not one I enjoy to watch if I'm, if I'm comparing them to the other two. In our runner-up, we have Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is a very good movie. One of the coolest scenes is when he's saving all those people from a plane. It's awesome. His Mark 42, I think, is pretty cool. It's also really funny to see it just falling apart in him, trying to put it back together. It's hilarious. Bruce Banner, I liked because we got Bruce Banner in an extra scene. It's like, it's like, he's, being a th it's like he's being a therapist, and he's like, I'm not that kind of doctor. That's, it, that just gets me laughing a lot. It's so funny. But, of course, this was inevitable. In number one, we have... Iron Man, the movie that kickstarted the MCU, one of the greatest MCU movies of all time. Iron Man is probably my top top 50 favorite movies, actually top 30. It's awesome, and it has a lot of really good action. But of course, for 2008, it had to play second to The Dark Knight, but, but of course we all knew that. This movie is just super good and very impressive. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, for the person I would like you to subscribe to, I would like you to subscribe to Internet Grandpa. Well, thank you guys for watching.